Here we go. I've got the important people in the middle. I've got Chris Gale, of course, Darren Ganger, and Austin Richard Sr., the match referee. Right up, boys, let's get this match underway. Deal. Tails is the call. What do we got? It's a head. Okay, Darren, you've won the toss. What are you going to do? We're going to bowl first. Uh, we're going to try and uh, put Jamaica under pressure, restrict them for a low total, and then run it down in the end. Tell me about the change room. How much of a difference does it make playing yet again for a million US dollars? Well, I think it's, uh, it's good motivation. I think uh, the guys are very much motivated, uh, not just because of the money as well. I think it's another regional title at stake. Um, we as a national team, um, it's wonderful to win regional titles. Uh, we've won a couple in the past, and today is an opportunity for us to win another one. You've been close before. Yeah, we don't want to remember that, uh, that memory, but I think that will drive us, that will give us the impetus to go on to do well today. And I'm sure all the guys are up for the challenge. And what about team changes? Yeah, we've made one change. Uh, we've brought in the all-rounder in that of Richard Kelly uh, for moving Dillon. Um, I think uh, we need a little bit of extra depth in the batting, and I think uh, Richard Kelly has proven in the past that he's capable of doing it. Okay, and what about these preparations? Yeah, I think um, you know, the last couple of days, I think mentally we've tried to get it right. I think uh, we had a look at Jamaica and Guyana yesterday, so guys picked up on a couple points, and we had a very thorough team meeting this morning, and uh, we're well set. Okay, good luck. Thanks a lot. Chris, had you won the toss, what would you have done? I would have batted, so it's nothing, no surprise to us. Okay, your preparations, how they've been, and of course, you haven't had much rest. Yeah, we haven't had that much rest, um, but it's a good thing about it, and um, we've been playing cricket last night, so hopefully we can continue the same thing to, um, tonight. It was a close game last night, so hopefully it won't be too close tonight. And that's got to, but that's got to be a good thing, good preparation, close games, and get through and win those. Yeah, definitely. And it's good for the spectators them as well, so hopefully we can just you know, put up a good uh, total ahead of us and then restrict them. And what about team changes? Uh, we're sticking with the same team. Okay. Now, Chris, a million dollars on the line here. What does that mean to you blokes? Uh, it mean a lot. Uh, we're only halfway, so we see you just have to play for that half um, right now. So we see what happens. The team that played the better cricket deserve to win. Uh, you know, both teams have been playing um, tremendous cricket to reach the final, so hopefully it's going to be a good game tonight as well. Okay, good luck. Thanks a lot. Alrighty, so the news in the middle is that Trinidad and Tobago have won the toss, and they're going to bowl first. Change in the batting order, significant change in the batting order for the Jamaicans. No Chris Gale at the top of the order. Sean Finley and uh, Xavier Marshall right-handed left-handed combination that's perhaps why they've made the change so that's the first uh, significant development of the final even before a ball has been bowled with uh, Jamaica being sent in Trinidad and Tobago's captain Darren Ganga reckoned it would be better to chase whatever target is set crowd around the ground a number of uh, maybe between 150 and 200 have come in by chartered aircraft from Trinidad and Tobago to support their team. A number were here to see them beat Barbados in the semi-final on Friday night. And they are here again in their numbers. The Jamaicans, of course, well, they've got a large expatriate population here in Antigua. And they've supported Jamaica all the way through the tournament. St. Lucia flag flying rather incongruously there and so is the Guyana flag, but it really has been a pan-Caribbean tournament with uh, 20 teams uh, originally starting. We are about to start the final of uh, Stanford 2020, 2008. We get the go-ahead now from Landscapes. Sing. Let the battle begin! The final, Trinidad and Tobago versus Jamaica. Let's get it on! Sean Finley will face uh, Red Emirate as we get it on in the final. And I say good evening to Pat Simcox. Good evening, Tony Cozier. Good evening to one and all from Port of Spain to Port Shepston, Port Elizabeth and Perth. Wherever you may be in the world, enjoy this wonderful spectacle that we're about to witness. It's been a magnificent build-up to this final. And, of course, with the money at stake, the pride of countries that have, have rich history in cricket in the Caribbean that have produced such wonderful players, so much to play for. Swing and a miss, and appeal, he's given in! He's gone! He's gone! Second ball! Finley 
he's gone. He was gone second ball as well last night. It's happened again. What a start. Well, here it is. Finley getting an edge to it. Umpire Golden Graves thought hard about it. Correction, Billy Dock drove the umpire. He's a standing umpire. And Emret strikes with his second delivery. Sean Finley been outstanding in the field, but certainly not with the bat. Head hanging down as he goes off. Out again for a duck. Early breakthrough for Trinidad and Tobago. Nice looking shot, flicked it away for four. Good boundary, just uh, on the hip. He had to work it away fine, and he does so for a boundary off the last ball of the first over. It's five for one. Yep, it was in the hip zone. And the bounce and pace in this pitch is enough to work it away. He did it exceptionally well. Fine legs up in the circle, so really no risk that's the batting card we see Chris Gale at number four that's a big call so two major changes that have happened that's in these the sides just over the head of slip and it's gone for four I think yes it has Teddy coming around from fine leg tried to stop it with his boot couldn't quite control it Leaping Pollard couldn't hang on to the catch. It was over his head. It was a near thing. Over the head for sure. But I've got to ask you, this fielder, Kelly, just tell him that there's a million dollars up for grabs. And it could go down to the wire where you could lose by one run. Ask yourself, is that the, is that the commitment you're looking from? No, no, that's not good enough. Coming into the team tonight and replace, replacing uh, Merv Dillon, slap piece of work by Richard Kelly flicked away down to mid wicket does it have enough to go it does so a couple of boundaries and successive deliveries it is a boundary but not convincing he stood back in the crease and he just hit through the line you can see it was full, and he's expecting the short ball, but he's got away with it. The feet really stuck together. Now, he knows he's got his number in the short ball. He's worried about it. He's got to get it full. Look for the Yorker. We saw what happened to Chanapur last night. Crashing into those stumps. Actually guided for the single. Richard Kelly has come into the team tonight to replace Merv Dillon, who had a bad night in the semi-final against uh, Barbados. What do you make of that call, Tom? Well, I think Dillon the other night, uh, you had to drop him on, on that that uh, performance the other night in the field, dropping a catch, easy catch, misfielding, um, conceding a lot of runs in his what, couple of overs. Off uh, the back foot this time. Outfield is quite fast, but those of sure the fielders. Simmons back to Mohammed, but it's an expensive over so far. Ends with uh, 14 correction, 12 off it, 18 for one. Badger will know that Samuels now is thinking boundary. It's got to be. Magnificent shot. Absolutely superb. Well, he has so much flair, Marlon Samuels, and that's beautifully played. 25 for one after four. I'm not sure Badri got this right. It should have been a quicker delivery, floating into the legs. He took a chance. Gave it a bit of air, you see. There you go. Gave it a bit of air. It was the top spinner. It was just too full. And Samuels pounced on it. Capitalized, made it a good over. Seven often. We have a change in bowling. The off spinner Sherwin Ganga, brother of the captain, had a good match against Barbados in the semis. He's gone with it. That's a long one. That's the first six of the night. 
And it's a big one. Up and over. Welcome to the party, Mr. Ganga. You get it in the wrong zone, that's where you're going. There was a length ball, and in the semi-final, his line was outside off stump, just about there. And no one capitalized on him. They were under pressure because they lost early wickets. Tonight, it may be a different story. That's the end of a Xavier Marshall trying to get on with it. It might have been a slightly slower front battery. It hung in the air for a while. And Xavier Marshall trying to get into the lofted shot on the under edge. It's the googly. It's just come back. Oh, it's a top spinner. But he lifted his head as he swung. It was beautifully bowled. I saw it coming out of the back of his hand. I thought it was a googly, but it just went straight over the top. It took a long time to get there. So that's a great wicket for Trinidad and Tobago. 42 for two. Uh, he's hit that into the gap and it runs away for four it's well connected bravo does not have as much pace as emery does and the ball is a touch older so it's gone in front of square but they seem to be deliberately targeting marlon samuels with the short balls well that's better from samuels he didn't really get it all that well but he's got enough on it and he split the gap batsman stands at the crease looks around and he doesn't look to exactly where the fielders are he looks in the gaps he says, well, okay, focus on that. It's where I'm going to hit the next one. So that man at mid-wicket's gone a little, a little straighter now. That's high. No, it, it's knuckled across the boundary. Simmons, let no Simmons take the catch. Isn't it good bowling? The short ball was dispatched before. The follow-up was always going to be key. The length of the follow-up. And I think that short ball served a purpose. It's the end of Samuels. Brilliant.